In this video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely glitch out the cover three meta defense for a one play touchdown out of the gun bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We release new videos every single day and lately in Madden 22, we've been trying to post a new tip every three hours. So literally multiple videos a day. I try to do eight to nine YouTube videos every single day to give you guys the most up-to-date tips and tactics in the community. So make sure you're subscribed so you can get access to all the content. Now, I just released my first offensive guide of the season on day one of Madden 22. I played the crap out of the game. I've already played over 70 hours of Madden 22 um, and really been in the lab a ton since August the 12th. And I'm really excited to bring you this cover three bomb because it's something a little bit different that I think a lot of you have seen at this point in the season. This is a cover three bomb out of bunch and it's actually um, not just a cover three beater, but you're gonna find out that this is gonna basically glitch out a lot of different coverages. Now, like I said, I did release my full Seattle Seahawks offensive guide and we're actually gonna be kind of adding a little bit here and there to that over the course of the next couple weeks to update it as the game uh, needs to be, as the game is probably gonna go through some patches and things. So as things change, we will be updating you guys on that guide for the first two weeks of the game. We're going to add in the bunch tight end, the bunch open tight end, the trips tight end offset, as well as the deuce close and some under center stuff. So a lot of really good content already over four hours of material in that game plan or in that guide. And if you want to get access to it, it's literally just 15 bucks, super cheap. And it's in the description of this video. So I put a link down there if you want to get access to the guide. Okay, guys, so I'm really excited to bring this to you. This is um, a play that I was messing around with yesterday out of the Gun Bunch Verticals, and um, Verticals is probably the best play in the game right now, um, and really, honestly, not just from Gun Bunch, but from pretty much any formation, it's really, really good. So what you're going to see here is I'm just going to kind of set up a cover three defense, so I'm just going to show my play, and you see we're in cover three. Um, you want to have your bunch to the wide side of the field, really important. If you've never ran a bunch before, um, it's kind of the, the, the tactic, as at least a general rule, to generally have your bunch to the wide side of the field. Now, all we're going to do on this play is we're just going to take the R1 receiver and we're going to put him on a streak. And then we're going to motion the circle receiver to the right. And we're going to snap the ball just as he starts to set his feet. And what you're going to see here is we're not only going to be able to hit this wheel route and of course, we're not only going to have to be able to hit that wheel route early on in this route combo, but I'm going to show you that we can actually bomb the cover three. So let me show you this real quick. First, I want to show you the snap throw. Um, I like this snap throw. I think it's a really safe, just quick throw the ball out there. Just pass lead that to the right. And you see right there, we can beat it for an easy, you know, 10 yards. I really like that throw. And I think that that's honestly, that's going to be effective all season long. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, kind of master that throw would be my first piece of advice. And then second thing that I want to show you is this route to R1. And what you're going to see here um, with this R1 receiver is we're basically, he's going to get up the seam and we're just going to wait on it just a little bit. And as you see right there, that middle third is going to basically completely glitch out. And as you see, we're able to bomb cover three over the top for a one play touchdown. So I want to show you that again. And most people that I've seen, at least at this point on YouTube, have been basically, in my opinion, kind of tricking you into believing that this is a great cover three beater um, or some of the other plays from Gun Bunch are big, great cover three beaters because what they'll do is they'll take the safety from the weak side and they'll make him the inside third. So of course this is gonna work. So what they'll do is they'll basically take Winfield and they'll put him into the third and then they'll put this guy in like a purple zone or whatever. Of course that's gonna work in that situation because there's no possible way the left side safety can get over there to make this play. I'll show you what that, this is kind of what you're used to seeing. And as you see, I mean, yes, it is a cover three bomb. And one of the tactics from Gun Bunch is to basically come out in the bunch flipped so that you can kind of get them to auto, get their defense to basically auto flip. And then they're gonna be out of position for the cover three beater. So I'm not saying that's not a good tip. I'm just saying, I think it's a little bit incomplete because the general way that most competitive players and most good players competent players are going to defend gun bunch out of cover three is they're going to put the cover three safety on the bunch side but what you'll find is with this specific setup out of verticals what you're going to see is this r1 receiver that middle third will always drift inside and then you can basically throw this outside if you ever get that you can see here i can just easily swerve catch it and basically just ag him 
uh, like I said, typically speaking, you're going to get that middle third safety to basically come inside and then you're gonna be able to essentially bomb over the top. So let me just show you that one more time. And this time I'm gonna put him on a fade. You can mess around with a fade or a streak. Both are really, really good. Obviously you still have your snap throw, you still have your tight end, all of those things um, right here. But there, look at that right there up the seam. Right there, actually, the, the uh, outside guy played it a little bit better, I think because of the fade route. But anyways, now I wanted to show you this. Um, well, I'll show it to you guys cover three one more time. And the other thing you can do if you want to, um, if you want to, uh, because you don't really need this streak on the left side, it doesn't really serve a purpose. So if you wanted to, what you could also do is, I like to put him on a skinny post or just something to kind of draw the safety's attention. And you'll select like, like a deep dig or something. And now you'll see, you know, right there, the safety actually played it fairly well. That aggressive catch animation is still pretty, pretty good for you. But you can do something like a dig you know, you could do a slant. Um, you could do anything really. Um, I like to do like a running back, you know, do like a little swap. So I'll do like a, you know, like a in route and then I'll do like a flat route to the back. I think this is a fairly decent setup. Um, a crosser, and I'll talk about that in just a second. It's a flip trick that you can do at a gun bunch. But again, and if, that's, if the safety goes with him, just take the tight end route. Um, generally, I've seen, you know, one of the things about practice mode is when you run the same play over and over again, I think the defense kind of starts to uh, respond a little bit better to it. So, anyway, that's just something to, that's just something to think about. But, anyways, uh, I want to show you now what this does to, against the cover four quarters defense. So, it's not just good against cover three. That's why I like this setup more than some of the other setups out of Gun Bunch right now. Um, this is really good against cover four quarters as well. So I'm just going to cover four quarters, same adjustments. And what you're going to see is if they're in cover four quarters, um, you're going to be able to hit this tight end streak right up the skinny. Easy read, easy money. And if you can truck a person or two, which in this game is not that hard, you're going to be you know in a really good spot. Obviously, we've talked about this before on this channel, but if they're in cover two man and they're, base and they're not shading their coverage over the top, which is very unlikely for a beginner to do, you're going to see that this streak or this wheel route wheel routes this year are pretty good against um, pretty good against like press man to man coverage. So as you saw right there, he's able to beat it. And then I wanted to show this against cover two. So you're able to what I like about this verticals play is it has answers for pretty much every coverage. Um, you can beat cover three. You can beat cover two, you can beat cover four, you can beat, um, you know, cover four drop. You definitely can kill cover two in this game. Uh, cover two is not a good coverage. Most people know that by now, but until they patch these zones, you're gonna have a lot of success. And honestly, I don't really, I don't really know what they're gonna do to patch the cover three aspect of this. Um, the cover three aspect of this, in my opinion, uh, you're gonna see that you know, the cover three is going to change a little bit. I think the biggest thing that needs to be patched in the cover three zones is the, um, I think the middle third is kind of a little bit weird the way that he plays, but I also think that the underneath zones, in my opinion, out of the cover three are really the major issue. But as you see here, if I pass lead it to the right, kind of click on, do a little aggressive catch, you see that I can easily just kind of get inside position. And that third will pretty much never do anything, um, you know, for the, for the defense. So, that's just kind of some of the, the concepts that we're going to go over in the guide. We talk a lot more about, you know, bombs and stuff like that. How we literally can bomb every coverage for a one play score uh, in this game. Literally, um, as long as we make the right read, put the right routes on the field, uh, we're going to be successful. And I absolutely love this setup right here. This is probably one of my favorite setups in the game. You're going to see right here that, you know, you, he's just in no man's land. You can easily just click on aggressive catch it. Um, the other thing is, if you wanted a little bit more of a consistent, but this is more, I want to give you this at the end of the video for those of you that stuck around. This is more of a consistent, like, cover three specific beater, and that's to just take the circle receiver and put him on a streak. And what you're going to see here is you're going to be able to, right there I got kind of caught up. Um, typically you can throw that crosser, I threw that a little late, but typically you can throw that crosser. But let me show you this one more time. So I'm just going to go cover three and I'm just going to like quick hike this. But what you'll see here is circle should get wide open. All you're doing is just passing him to the right. As you see right there, that's really easy cover three bombs. So I think that one's going to get patched. But 
it's going to open up much more opportunity for the other one. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. And like I said, if you want to get my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, I think it's the best offense. It's the offense that every pro player is using. So if you want to learn what the best of the best are doing, and kind of my take on it, I think that we've really uh, labbed the, the dickens out of this game at this point, and we feel really good on both sides of the ball. So if you want to get um, my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, I would encourage you to pick it up. It's just 15 bucks, and it's down in the description. And I would say that's probably one of the only offenses you're going to need to be successful in this year's game. Uh, is the bunch out of Seattle. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.